Welcome! Today we're going to talk about a special watch. This is the Dodan Arme de Terre. Dodan is a French watch company, most famous for their Type 20 models. The Arme de Terre is France's army. Not much is known about how this watch came to be. In the book British Military Timepieces by Conrad Neerum, he suggests that the French military tested a Dodan model with a quartz movement and analog and digital dial like that of the Breitling. The prevailing theory is that these watches were prototypes made for the French army in a bid that was ultimately won by J. Bianchi. And here's a great example of a Bianchi 300. Many examples of these were issued to French army divers. These watches date from the late 80s and early 90s and feature an anadigit display with an analog main time display and digital displays for additional functions. It's powered by an ETA 988.332, which is the same type of movement used by the Breitling Aerospace. What's impressive about this watch is that all functions are controlled by the crown. By selectively rotating the crown and pulling it out or pressing it in, you can control all the functions. Here's the chronograph running in broad daylight. You can see the glossy dial has a gilt-like appearance. To reset the chronograph, you simply press in the crown and hold for two seconds. Rather than advance continuously, the minute hand jumps every 30 seconds. The arrowhead on the minute hand is also open, allowing for better legibility of the digital displays. It features a unidirectional bezel along with a fixed compass ring. Here's that multifunction crown. It has drilled 20 millimeter lugs and a satin finish on this example. The diameter of the case is 38.9 millimeters at the bezel and is about 9.2 millimeters thick. A quick note about the strap I've got this mounted on. It's a 5 eye from Watches of Espionage. It's a durable nylon strap with lots of features that make it extra robust. I especially like these beveled keepers along with a reinforced tip at the end of the strap. The case back is pretty interesting as well. It features a broad arrow as well as an FG mark along with the serial number. The broad arrow is typically seen on watches issued to the British military, which makes it odd to see this on a watch intended for the French army. In 2010, Dodan was asked about a watch with similar markings and suggested that the watches they were using for that project had been sourced from a UK supplier, CWC. My best guess is that as these were prototypes, the engravings on the back were more indicative of what's possible when showing to various militaries. The FG mark stands for fin de garantie, or basically end of warranty, suggesting that this watch, perhaps its battery, was intended to be replaced by March of 1993. Apart from my example, I've only seen photographic evidence of three other examples of this watch. The first is this amazing example from the Knife Watch Guy. When he posted this on Instagram in 2018, it was the first time I became aware of this amazing model. 
Note that the loom on the hands is a crisp white that matches the dial indices. Here's one from a Japanese collector, Garage Gigi. The case back is similar but slightly different to my example. It features the broad arrow, albeit in a slightly lower position. It also features an FG mark, however with a full date format including the day, month, and year of service. And the case serial number is about 300 increments above mine. Here's another example sold at a French auction some years ago. Note that the case has a polished finish compared to the satin of my example. Also note that the loom on the hands appears wider than the yellow on mine and the previous example. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, please be sure to like and subscribe. Have a great day.